Now, a lot of times when a pro-abortion politician gets up to defend abortion, you'll notice they talk about everything except abortion. Yeah. They don't really talk about abortion. I, I, I would challenge any of our any of our friends who are listening to us now. You know, when you talk to your uh, uh, people in your life that are in favor of abortion, or you listen to what these speeches that 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 justify it, find me a speech where a politician is advocating for abortion or the legality of it, where they actually describe it. Mm. Do they ever describe the procedure? If I'm sure I mean, if we took all the speeches of all the, the current the current uh, politicians and you go back to Obama and Hillary Clinton and all their speeches to Planned Parenthood and in favor of abortion or all the floor speeches, you know, I'm, I'm sitting right here across from the Capitol here uh, in D.C., all the floor speeches that are made there on this topic, none of those who defend the pro-choice position ever describe the procedure. You will not hear the word forceps or or right. arms and legs or crushing right. of the head right. or dismemberment, decapitation. Those words won't appear. You yeah. know where those words do appear? In the medical textbooks of how to do an abortion. I mean, I might, I might get a little ticked off and emotional here because one of the things that's really set a fire under me was the whole New York debacle, Cuomo, oh, the Cardinal. Why is it? that our bishops and cardinals don't have spines. You know, Won't it's say a word. Cuomo, it, 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 who it, it, claims to be a Catholic. Yeah. And it's my just, home state. Yeah. New York is my home I mean, state. Riff on I, it. I, I, Let's yeah. go off. I mean, this is ridiculous. The, the Catholic it, it, people that, are yes. enraged. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one outrageous. thing to be against abortion, but we have our leaders, the men with red hats, which signifies martyrdom, mm. can't mm. raise their voice one bit against this ungodliness in the church. I'm sure, Taylor, you saw the, the Cardinal Dolan's response on, on Fox uh, uh, News yep, Channel. I watched it. You know, and it's like he, what he said there was basically it won't work. If we discipline these people, it'll backfire. It won't work. And, and, I, and I've talked with bishops clear across the country on this, this issue as well. And there's a very strong consensus among them that, that, uh, that that's the case. You know, it's, a, it's, it's sad because, you know, at the same time, obviously, we all have to take into account the cost and the backfiring of not doing something because then people are scandalized. They, people are, are disheartened. People are, again, making sacrifices not only to live but to spread the faith are, are saying, well, are we serious about this or not? You know, to go back to what Cardinal Dolan said, you know, his eminence said, well, it won't work. That doesn't really matter. I mean, you can say, well, if I preach the gospel to everyone, not everyone's going to be saved. Well, last time I checked, we were called to preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. Right? So we're called to be faithful. The results are God's. Mm -hmm. We have to do what's called. It's, it's almost like saying, uh, you know, well, I could tell my kids don't eat ice cream before five o'clock, but I mean, they're going to do it anyway. So why, even, <laughs> why even enforce it in my house? You know, yeah. and what that does is, okay, so maybe I have one wild, crazy kid who's going to try to do that. But then the other seven kids say, oh, dad's not really serious about disciplining this one wild kid. There what does go. that do to the other seven? What does that do to the other hundreds of millions of Catholics who are watching New York, watching Cuomo, watching this t entire debacle, and they see dad do nothing? Yeah, yeah. They see dad you know, just go get in the bass boat and go fishing and, and let this horrible problem fester in the church. It is a discouragement to all of us who are trying to be followers of Jesus Christ. It's odd because it seems that in 2019, when we're recording this, that the American bishops have become softer than ever on the abortion issue and in the political sphere. And yet we're having this tide change yeah, and we have a yeah. non-Catholic president who's being one of, if not the most, most pro-life presidents, anti-abortion it, president. So it's it, it's confusing. It, it yeah. is. It, it is. Well, that's why I, I, you know, I issued a call the other day, uh, and I, I've made this call over the years for people to to jump full time into this pro-life battle. 
leave their professions if they're if they're at all able to because I think this is stirring in a lot of people's hearts hmm. and devote those skills whatever they are to the pro-life movement because this is I mean this is the anti-slavery battle of our day this right. is the and this is the civil rights movement of our day as our colleague Alveda King always says this is the moment people are going to look back at this age and say oh that was the age of abortion where were the hmm. people that fighting against it and they'll find us they'll see us but we yeah. got to make sure they see a lot of us and uh no it's it's so true and that's why of course you know my, so many people are encouraged by our ministry and we're so grateful to them for that because they want to see leadership in the church and we at priests for life you know we're trying to pick up this slack uh you know and we're trying right. to say yes the church does have a message here it's clear and all of us need to carry it together and if we're in a season of weak leadership in the in the hierarchy well you know what let's do everything we can to pick up the slack ourselves and just shout that message all the louder that's right we need warriors now father there's been certain bishops who have been um been uh what's the right word here careful or even opposed to priest for life oh yeah 40 days for life yeah, uh, public statements, restrictions, all speak to that. What the heck is going on when you got priests I, and lady, but especially priests who are like, let us end this tragedy of abortion. It's like, let's end slavery. And then you have bishops like, no, stop saying that. Yeah. These guys I, I are going to go I, into history books as the greatest villains of all time. My problem with them is the lack of honesty and the lack of transparency. So you have a problem with what we're doing, tell us what it is. And we're happy to have that debate, you know. Some some bishops have said to me, oh, Father Frank, you know, you're, you're too aggressive on abortion. I say, as soon as abortion stops being aggressive on those little babies that it kills, exactly. then come and talk to me, you know. And, and if, they, if they say that's their problem with me, good, we can have that debate. Or some of them have said to me, oh, well, you just endorse Republican uh, uh, candidates. And again, my response to that is, listen, I'm, I'm giving the pro-life message. Whether that helps a Republican or hurts a Democrat is their choice. <laughs> yeah, what right. position that's they're right. going to... My message isn't going to change. Right. They're the ones that got to take the right position on this. So it's like, okay, if they identify, you know, like, what, what's their issue? We can debate that. And, 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 and I'm confident that we, we can answer all those objections. But it's when these people operate in the shadows, and sadly with the sexual abuse crisis in the church, mm. we've seen all too much of this. Where, you know, oh, yeah, we're going to handle this or we're going to take care of that. And meanwhile, nobody knows what's the process, who are the people involved, what's the timetable, where's the accountability, where's the transparency. Well, it's the same with the matters that you're bringing up when, when if they oppose a pro-life effort, 40 days for life, priests for life, whatever it is. It's like, hey, guys, come on out of the shadows and act like adults and tell us if you've got a problem or, you know, we can respond to. But it's like this, 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 this working in the dark that gives a bad name to the church. May the Lord send his Holy Spirit upon us all. May he send his spirit, Taylor, upon you, upon your work, your audience, your, your, your broadcasting. May he send his spirit upon all those uh, who, are, who are listening and upon our entire nation. May the spirit who is the advocate fill us and make us advocates for our youngest brothers and sisters, the children in the womb. And may almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Father. We, we truly appreciate you coming on and, and sharing your time. And I encourage everybody to follow those links. And uh, hopefully we'll do this again. It's been fun. Let's do it again. Let's I'm at it. your service. I love, love what you're doing and uh, happy to be with you today.